Hello everyone, today we've got another kit from Russian company Arc Models and as you can see it's E16 Russian fighter, it's written here, it's uh, Valery Chkalov's airplane uh, which is molded in 148 scale as you can see and the box itself is not that big as you can see in comparison with my palm but uh, contains and the plastic and the kit itself is considered one of the best 48 uh, scale kits. So let's open this box and check what's inside. As you can see this brand new box it's packed into the uh, I mean in this layer and we should open it. Just give me a moment. Okay. So this is similar scheme to the Ola fighter which we saw before or it was E185 sorry so top opening box inside we find simple instructions plastic and what's it I think there's some masks which you will have to cut and decals not that good quality, but they're printed by Picky Mode. I mean, should be good in the model. Okay, let's open the plastic and check the contents. Okay, so inside we will find only two, no, three gray plastic sprues, some plastic bits which will turn out we don't need them. So, uh, even four plastic gray sprues, I would focus the camera for you. Now we see them properly. Four plastic gray sprues and one transparent one. Let's begin from the transparent. Um, as you can see, molding quality is quite nice. And part looks really perfect. I mean, just look on this crisp plastic, it looks like this. And there is also target site, as you can see here. Small one, but still present. Okay, then we have uh, one big sprue which contains various parts from the engine, which you can see here, to the propeller, for example, which is molded really nicely with plates intact and look on those really thin attachment points. I mean, that can be appreciated in this kit. Molding quality is quite okay, I don't see any flash in the sprue, but um, maybe it could be, parts could be a bit more detailized, but I mean, look on those tail points are also very nice. This um, surface is really nicely imitated in plastic, wheels are made as a single part, and look on the back side of the engine. <laughs> it's really funny how it's made. Of course there is no P as far as you remember in this kit for the engine or for some other elements but still it can be considered as a nice parts and nice components. Here is the cooling front part. It's molded as a one piece as you can see with so throughout dents. No, they are not throughout, so you would have to drill them out. But Otherwise, it's really nice to have this part as a one piece, so you wouldn't have to deal with seams and other stuff, which you, re you know, usually have to deal with. And here are some other parts, really nice molding quality. Should look good on the assembled model. Here is one more, with another cooling type. And the gun cooling propeller hub and the bottom exhaust section really nice then we have fuselage 
uh, molded on the separate sprue as you can see here. Here is the left part and here is the right part. Both are molded quite accurately. I mean I don't see any flash, I don't see any extra bits. Here are top wing parts, also nice imitation of the fabric surface. Uh, ailerons and flaps of course are molded intact uh, together with these parts. And here is the bottom part. Uh, which is molded together with bill wells and again this nice surface imitation really looks good on the inside of course there is nothing and just the special pre-drilled holes which you would have just to drill a bit more to get the necessary attachment points on the inside of the cockpit there is nothing just point surface and special tabs to fix the cockpit inside so I guess there will be some parts. As I said, the uh, decal sheet is not that big. It's printed by Begimot, as you can see, and here we can see only four red stars and two silver ones. Nothing special, no stencils. Uh, frankly speaking, I was I thought that manufacturer will provide this uh, red markings by decals in form of decals, but manufacturer decided to do special masks. Uh, which you have to cut even though, but I mean, it's much better than just simple decals, of course. Because you can paint it, you can mask it. And then we have assembly manual, which is printed on a simple A4 paper. Uh, but still really nice. Why? Because... Well, give me a moment. Because it contains quite nice instructions, here is a parts map, here is some <laughs> 10 top model tips, and here are some assembly instructions. As you can see, cockpit won't be that much detailized, but still it's, it should look very nice. Really good detailization. And there is only one marking option included, this one, Valerich Kaos airplane. So that's all for today. Uh, as usual, I recommend you to check full review on our website. And I would like to thank you for watching and advise you to subscribe on our YouTube channel and Facebook group. Thanks again and see you soon.